Hello, my name is Mati and my summer of HPC project is wind loading on the solar trackers. Why solar trackers? Because this is green energy and sustainable energy, less emission, more electricity production each and every year. Uh, what troubles the solar trackers? Uh, due to high voltage, there is a fire, snow loading, but that can be uh, solved by easily flipping the solar panel, but wind loading causes more damage to the solar panels. If you see this picture, this is recently taken from Slovenia. Because of the high wind speed, uh, this solar panel is completely damaged. How it can be protected from this wind loading? Uh, there is a lack of information, so more research needs to be done. A CFD is a main tool that can be used and analyzed uh, how the wind loads acts on the solar trackers. Uh, what is CFD? Computational fluid dynamics is out of solving the navy stoke equations. Uh, so uh, numerical algorithm which solves is partial differential equations which uh, which arises uh, in fluid flow problems. Uh, I use uh, CFX for my mm, project so it is mainly based on the finite volume method and then it has many schemes uh, for example VANS, LES and DES. Problem approach uh, be before I further, before I start my project, I done with this uh, experimental test. From the experimental test, I got uh, some uh, results. Based on that results, uh, I done the my simulations. Uh, for my numerical simulation, I used turbulence model, uh, shear stress transportation model because this gives good result close to the uh, walls where you have a uh, um, more turbulence. Uh, in the fluid. This is based uh, mainly based on the Reynolds average Navier-Stokes equations. Uh, it, it consumes less time for the computation than other models, for example LES and DES. Uh, this is uh, my model size of the solar tracker, solar tracker in the wind tunnel. I used uh, unstructured mesh, mesh for like 10 million elements. If you see, this is my geometry, and then this is my mesh, how it looks in the domain. Uh, this is my boundary condition. The inlet velocity is 50 meter per second, and then outlet is zero. And then this is my wall boundary conditions. If you see this picture, this is a steady state analysis. And then you could see like uh, velocity streamlines. Uh, in the downstream, you have more vertex and then turbulence behavior. This is uh, wind tunnel test data th uh, that has been taken from this uh, wind tunnel. Uh, since I know now all the values of uh, this wind tunnel test data as well as this my numerical calculations, uh, now I extended my simulation into this open domain simulations. When it is comes to open domain simulations, it's not any more close to my simulations. So I need to uh, I need to fix or care a lot of stuff, especially this uh, uh, wind profile inlet wind profile velocity uh, and then I get like uh, around like 15 to 70 million elements because since uh, I have a very big domain in in my problem so uh, I get more elements and this is a one panel it is uh, we can see how it looks the velocity in the downstream side you can see the vertex turbulence behavior in this next next video um, the two panels uh, with the 15 meter per velocity this is a turbulence kinetic energy with uh, 20 meter per second uh, this is a uh, very important thing this is what we are so interested because we want to know how much pressure that acts on the solar pa solar panel with different velocities. If you see in in this case, this the velocity is 20 meter per second. Uh, the bottom one has a more pressure than the top one. Top one, uh, as well as in the bottom of the solar panel, we have less uh, pressure, so we might get like kind of lift force. Uh, if you see these uh, two panels, the first panel has a more pressure than the second one because they are like in uh, arranged in array type so they are in a w the second one is in the back side so it, it has a less uh, pressure force than the the first one so based on these uh, results and then uh, data we could um, 
design a better solar trackers in the future uh, because if you know this pressure and then we know the force uh, we know the area from that we can calculate the force uh, so once if you know the force how much is going to act on the solar panels so we can design the better model that can withstand any kind of uh, wind force in the future so that could uh, uh, improve more installation in the future uh, that could produce green energy uh, that would reduce this global warming um, yeah so there are a lot of benefits from these uh, solar trackers thank you for watching and listening